Okay, so if this case study looks like one that we've done in the past, that's because it is, but I had a doctor email me a question and just thought I would answer it right here on my YouTube channel. The question was, uh, everything looks good, it seems to make sense, but how are we able to legally avoid taxes? Because I said that in the last video. I also have written here, no uh, taxation happening at all. So uh, I, I just wanna give uh, an explanation to that. Uh, you know, the IRS has different codes, right? So 401k is a code within the IRS tax code uh, that says that you can put money from an employer into a protected plan without paying tax now and let it grow and then down the road you will pay that tax. Uh, a Roth is just the opposite. You pay the tax now but then as it grows you take distributions completely tax-free and the growth that you achieve on your account is tax-free. Uh, properly designed whole life insurance as long as it meets certain codes and, and rules uh, that the IRS has given to the uh, the, uh, excuse me, the insurance companies, then it is, it is legal for us to put money into a program and have the money grow tax deferred. And then when we take it back out, it is uh, not taxable. So, and the reason being is we're using after tax dollars, just like with a Roth. The difference is for my high income physician clients, uh, most of them make way too much money to qualify for a Roth and the contribution limit is so small that it won't get most physicians the amount of money that they need to retire anyway. So with this, there's no limitation on how much we can put in, it just has to be properly designed to hold a large amount of money. But once this money starts to grow, uh, there is no tax on that, and then there's, there's two ways of pulling money back out. We can uh, take it out as a loan, and you can't tax a loan. In fact, there, there may be some tax benefits when taking a loan, but you can't tax a loan. Uh, the other thing is we have the legal right to draw down to our original base contribution. What that means is basically 10 times 25,000, we can pull a quarter of a million back out of this in our later years uh, before there will be any tax because we're really just retrieving our already taxed principal. Okay. So what we'll do is we do a flip during retirement. We'll do the withdrawal and then we'll flip over to loans and continue until you die. And then of course under IRS code 7702, that money can grow tax-free and it will also distribute to the family tax-free. And, and this has been protected by the government and the IRS for over a hundred years. And I believe that one day that might change, but right now it's okay uh, that this money comes out uh, tax-free because most people will go out and start spending that money where they will be taxed. So in the end, Uncle Sam will get his money. But there's a huge difference between taking money out of a 401k and taking money out of this plan because you have to take out so much more because you're going to pay tax on that. So you actually deplete those accounts much, much faster than you would this where you're taking out a loan, it continues to earn interest as if the money were never gone, but you're not having to take out as much because there's no tax. Like imagine an apple that doesn't have a huge bite taken out of it. There's going to be a lot more apple, right? So anyway, I hope that answers your question, doctor, and for those that are watching this. Hey, feel free to subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that bell so that you're notified of future videos. But yes, as long as it's designed correctly, we can uh, grow our money completely tax-free inside of a properly designed cash value life insurance plan. Hey, I'm Stephen Gardner. If I can help you with anything, reach out to me at Stephen with a PH at yourbridgeplan.com. Otherwise, let me know if you have one of these plans. Men mention it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great rest of your day.